I've got boxes and boxes and bags and corners and every spare space in can, a few rooms of my house is full of assorted guitar parts and various bits of instruments. What I don't have is any humbucker pickup rings. <laughs> I've ordered some pieces of brass, because if you're going to do it, why not go all out and make yet more work for yourself on an already incredibly complicated project. At the moment, these are very chunky, heavy blocks of brass. I'm hoping I can reduce that weight quite considerably. So I'm going to have a go at making a set. I'm going to start with the neck pickup ring because it's thinner and won't cause me quite as many headaches, hopefully. I've got quite thick chunks of brass because I've got a fairly hefty carve on the top of this guitar, which means to fit these properly to the body I'm going to have to take out quite a lot of material under the middle here for it to fit nicely. So I think what I'm going to start with doing is actually cutting out the space in the middle where the pickup itself will sit because that's the area that's going to need the most material removing to fit the top and obviously the less material that's there to remove the less work it's going to be So that is one ring with the cavity cut out. That fits comfortably over a pickup cover. It's nice and snug, tidy around the edges. What I need to do with this is figure out exactly where the mounting holes are going to be and where it's going to cover the cavity that's routed into the body. So to do that, I'm gonna use a base plate, which I'm gonna put into the cover, push it up nice and snug, and then if I put that into the ring that I've just made, that lines up my two mounting holes perfectly. So all I need to do then is mark out where they're going to go, and then I can drill them. Now I've marked on the extent of the outside of the pickup ring. I'm going to go with a fairly standard shape just because the arc on the top means if I take it too much wider I'm going to have to file away quite a lot of the depth of this and bend bits of it out of the shape that I want to be able to get it to meet the top. So if I keep this 
a standard rectangular shape. I can add some detailing later to make it slightly different. But that does mean I need to cut the ends and this side down. So I've now trimmed this to size. Basically all that's left to do to get this to become a usable pickup ring is round off the corners, smooth off the top edge, polish it up a bit and drill the holes for mounting. Obviously because it's going on a curved top I need to actually shape the underneath of this to sit properly on there. What I might do is use a 12 inch radius block and actually radius the whole of this ring which will mean that the edges will sit lower and I'll have enough depth in the middle to sit comfortably and have plenty of the uh, the ring still there but that will mean tidying up these inner edges a little bit again but that's not an issue everything like that can easily be done I think first of all I'm gonna clean up these corners and then the jeweling detailing that I've got on the edge of the body itself in the uh, diamond cutting round here I think I'm going to emulate that on the top edge to give it some extra detail so it's not just a big square block. Mm -hmm. 